Hello everyone. In today's video, I will discuss why halides are acting as a good leaving group in case of substitution reaction. Yes, in substitution reaction, alkyl halides are involved uh, and it undergo reaction. So in that case, the leaving group leaves from the substrate and gives a carbocation. This is what happens in SN1 type reaction, right? Uh, let, let me take uh, some example. If I have uh, this as my substrate, alkyl halide, you would uh, notice that there is a charge separation, okay, on carbon atom, which is del positive, right, which is, uh, which indicates the partial positive charge on carbon atom and you would notice the partial negative charge formed on the halogen okay why it is so there is a, a there is an effect okay involves here called inductive effect okay through induction this halogen pulls the sigma electrons or dislocates the sigma electrons slightly towards itself. It displaces the electrons, sigma electrons towards itself because there is a, uh, there is a difference in the electronegativity between these two. Okay, halogen is highly electronegative. So it, it uh, displaces the electrons. Okay, so what happens after uh, the electrons are influenced by this halogen? This bond has now become weak. So this halogen could readily leave the substrate okay, with the uh, with this sigma electrons. So results in the formation of a carbocation. Along with, okay, if uh, this halogen is bromine, okay, the formation of carbocation happens. Okay, along it takes the bromine ion. Just look at this. Uh, this is all about the inductive effect. Okay, because of this inductive effect, bromide ion is just removed from the, is just got removed from the substrate. Okay. And if I try to replace this X with halogens like fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine, uh, and I want to compare all these halogens, which would be the a fastest leaving group among these halogens. Uh, I would uh, recommend this order. Okay, I would go for this order. It's iodine is the fastest leaving group. Then comes this bromine, then chlorine, and at last, finally, fluorine. Why it is so? Because we would uh, think that the fluorine is the electron is the most electronegative among halogens. So uh, uh, we may come to the conclusion that the fluorine is the first one uh, uh, takes away because we have seen this inductive effect, right? But uh, we need to apply uh, one more idea, which is the pK values of these, uh, pK values of uh, the corresponding acids of these halogens. Okay, let me write the corresponding acids of these halogens. So these are the corresponding acids. When it gets the, when this HI get dissolved in water, you would observe H plus and uh, 
iodine iodide ion right so uh, this this uh, iodide is uh, highly stable compared to br minus co minus f minus why because due to the size it could uh, it could stabilize the charge negative charge okay more effectively than the rest of alloys and the, and if we uh, uh, if we compare the pk value of these two extremes ha uh, is going to be the strongest acid among these are and hf is the weakest because acidity is a comparative term so this is your strongest acid strongest acid and this is going to be the weakest one okay let's just uh, uh, consider the pk value of these two extremes the pk value of ha is Minus eleven, and the pK value of HF is uh, is around four point two. See, lesser the pK value, more will be the acidity. Okay, so this is more acidic, and HA will be the uh, HA is considered as the strongest acid. And uh, try to remember this. Iodide is uh, is a, a very good leaving group, okay, among halides, okay, but it could uh, act as a poor nucleophile. And the uh, reverse is also possible. Whenever you find a good nucleophile, that's going to be your uh, poor leaving group. Okay, I hope you all could understand this. Thank you.